Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Luke and I want to be showing you guys how to make a campfire in the Arc Dev Kit. Um, I'm not really sure if that's what you guys want to see, but since I've gotten very few suggestions, I'm just going to go ahead and do this first. So let's go ahead and create a new folder called Campfire. Simple enough. And then we're going to go search through the filter for, you guessed it, we're going to search for Campfire. Alright, and then we're going to find it right here. We're going to dry, drag this campfire, uh, campfire into our campfire folder. And then we're going to look for references off of that. Ooh. Um, then we're going to see the primal item structure. We're going to need that. Right click on it. Go to find a content browser. Then we're going to drag that one up into our my mod campfire. And then next we're going to need, let's see. I think we already got the primal item structure. Yes, we did. Uh, we're going to need the inventory, definitely. Find a con content browser. Drag that up here into campfire. And then finally, we're going to need the Ingram for campfire. I'll just search for the Ing Ingram real quick. Ingram entry campfire. Alright, we're going to drag that into campfire. Then we're going to continue to underscore my mod everything, like always. I know this is probably the most annoying part of my videos, but figure why I'm doing it, you could do it. So, because I feel like a lot of people have issues um, <clears throat> when they try to take shortcuts and don't do stuff like this. So, figure if I'm going to force you to watch you. <laughs> You're gonna be forced to watch me do it anyways. Might as well do it yourself. Although I do suppose you could just skip it. And that's a fair point. Alright, here we go. Got them all done. So first thing we're gonna open is campfire right here. And uh basically what I do in every video is I just kinda look for things that reference other things. And that's basically what you're gonna get the hand of how to use these things. <laughs> but uh until you get the hang of it, I'll show you where all the stuff is. And there's something a little different about campfires that you guys definitely need to know. You can look at this out of curiosity. Alright, scroll through, scroll through. Primal item structure, campfire. No! We're going to be using the primal item structure campfire my mod. Otherwise it wouldn't be another structure. What else are we looking for? We'll call it Campfire My Mod. That way, when we open it, we'll know it's our campfire. I'm going to compile and save that. I'm going to open up oh, the Ingram. Don't need that quite yet. Go into the inventory. I'm going to call it Campfire My Mod. And we're going to do something interesting here to change it up. So it says absolute max inventory items, 300. Actually, that's not at all what I was going to find. Um, here we go. Max inventory items, three. So it has three slots in a normal campfire. We'll make ours 12, just so we know. It's different. It's got to be different. <laughs> all right. And then we're going to go ahead and compile and save that. Then we're going to go to the primal item structure. All the way down till we find something interesting. Here we go. My mod. Each of these references different things. This example is for like the uh, for the Ingram. This is the inventory is for when you open the inventory, and the um, this is for when you're looking at it on the ground. So if you don't change all of them to be the same thing, they'll also different things. And of course, it's got the same crafting requirements. We could change those, but I think I've gone over that enough in my old videos. For you guys, probably have the hang of that by now. Structured build. Ooh, that'd be bad if we missed that. Boom. Can't fire my mod. 
And that's pretty much it for that, I believe. Except there's one key element. I'm going to have to show you guys here in a second. Alright, we're going to compile and save this. Alright, here's the key element. So we're going to open up the Campfire My Mod, which I just closed out of. And we're going to go to Components. And we're going to see the Primal Inventory BP Campfire C1. That is not the one we're using. We're going to delete that. And then we're going to drag ours in here. Does that work? It does not work. Okay, we actually got to look it up. Primal Invin... In... BP Campfire... Okay, it's got spaces between them, so it throws you off a little bit. But you actually do have to type in all of it with spaces, and you'll find it with my mod. Alright, and you're going to see all these settings that we just looked at just a minute ago, but in a super mini window form. So you can see where it says max inventory items 12, that's how we know it's ours. We're going to compile that, save it. And there's one more super key element here. We're going to enter it the way we normally do. And then, we have to enter it a different way. Because it's a pain. Oh, it's loading. There we go. I'm trying to render another video on uh, arrows right now by request. So, it may be taking an additional second. So, we got the campfire and the ingrams now. And we're going to scroll down to the very bottom of the primal um, thing, primal game data BP. Scroll all the way down to. Ooh, too far. Scroll back up to. Where is it? Like additional structures, I think. Now you can search these things, I just don't remember exactly what it's called. Maybe it was exactly where I was before. Um, can't seem to find it here. I know it's here, I just don't know where it is. I feel like I just saw it and I just missed it. Other people were screaming at me. It was back there, you idiot. Here we go. Additional structure ingrams. <laughs> just search that at the top and I believe it'll come up. Yeah, there we go. Just search at the top. Alright, you're gonna type uh Ooh, not structure ingrams, sorry. I'm gonna delete that. In structure to place. Ooh. Not two, just need one. And then we're going to do campfire my mod. Compile and save that. Compiling, compiling. Alright, and that should make us good to go, except I missed one key element, which is linking the Ingram to the right campfire. And then I'm going to want to change this campfire to the MyMod campfire, because I completely forgot that. If it loads... And that should just about do it. Let's try her out. There it is right here. There it is right there. There it is. And boom. Can't fire my mod. Can't fire my mod. Twelve slots. Everything should work perfectly. Just gonna burn some stuff. You can see it's lighting and everything. Um the one thing you guys might be interested in changing, like if you wanted to add a new fuel source, uh stuff like that, and I can show you how to add new resources in my next video. But uh, for just for this one, I'll show you real quick how to edit what goes in the inventory. Um, 
Let's see. Okay, so you're only allowed to put this stuff in the in the campfire. And this is the kind of stuff that just appears in the campfire. So say the the raw meat will turn into the cooked meat. And the raw meat can also turn into cooked prime meat because they consider them both the same thing basically. And then there's let's see. The recipes um for cooked ingredients are defined in the in like the cooked meat, um which I'll show later on. But uh so if you wanted to add something new, you could just go add something. Let's see. Man, it's taking a long time. Primal item. Ooh, misspelled something. Item resource. Say we want to be able to put gasoline in the fire. Can now put gasoline in the fire. It won't give you any sort of fuel source yet, but we can do it. I'll show you how to guys how to do that in a next video. But that should kind of give you the basics. Let's see, where's my gasoline? So now I can put gasoline in here, but I still can't put metal, still can't put mushrooms, rare flowers, polymer, oil, obsidian. I can put spark powder. I can put thatch. I can put wood, if I can find it. I can put meat, if I had it. Oh, there we go cannot put cooked meat because it's a uh, default thing, but if I cook this stuff, it will automatically cook the meat for me. But uh, anyways, guys, that should be it for the campfire. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more. Um, let me know any kind of uh, uh, specific thing you guys would like to see done. I'm pretty good. I'm not amazing at everything, but I kind of know what I'm doing about some of the stuff. Um, but, oh yeah, definitely remember to comp compile and save everything. But uh, that should be it. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.